hey guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is lola and today is vlogmas day nine today i'm going to be showing you the easiest way i make a redu soup a redu soup is jute leaves that are um, boiled traditionally and mashed with a specific broom that is made for it so traditionally that's how it's made you use the broom to like mash it in the pot heat it and beat it until it's all mashed up and growing up that's how my mom always made it but it just never worked for me so i learned this technique from my sister after many fails is either my eredu doesn't come out green or it doesn't draw so yeah she just you know gave me the best technique and that's what i'm showing you guys today so i'm just taking out all the yellow leaves and you know any leaves that look wilted but it's fine if you have a few there it's okay so when you're taking these leaves off their stem you have to pluck them very close to the leaf as possible because you don't want any stem you can see that um tiny stem i'm taking out is it called stem now or stalk i don't know no not stalk um you know that tiny bit there you don't want it in the redo because you know you would you would see it in there and it's not very nice so um take it out or pluck it off very close to the leaf so that you don't have all that so i get my redo from the farmer's market so i buy a lot at a time so that i'd make a big batch and freeze it in bowls my son likes it you know most children like it with swallow very soft swallow and the soup because it draws so it just goes down their throats very easily anyways i'm going to go ahead and wash this now you have to wash this very very clean because it does have some sand in there so i washed it about four or five times and this is my clean eredu leaves the other ingredients i'll be using are iru locust beans um, some bouillon cubes crayfish and then some salt <laughs> which i didn't show you but yeah, some salt for taste. And then we're going to go ahead and blend. So this is my technique. You blend the leaves fresh with water. And I'm going to be pouring into my pot right there. So when I used to do this, I would first, because typically how it's, and that's cold water, not warm water. I'm, I'm just pouring water out of the jug. It's not hot. So I used to first boil it and then blend because in my mind I'm saying okay because the regular way of doing it or the traditional way of doing it is you, you boil the leaves and then you use that broomstick to like beat it down until it's all mashed up. So that's what I had in my head. So I'll boil the leaves first before blending it and it never came out right. It never draws. It's always dark green, a very funny awful color. So this is the way to do it. You put the leaves in the blender with just enough water to help the blades move. And then you um, pulse, 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 pulse. You know, until most of the leaves have been, um, you know, broken up. And then you go ahead and blend until smooth. Now I also blend my iru, the people, my iru, my locust beans. People don't blend theirs but i do that because of my son so i make sure i've blended my leaves my eredu leaves until i have just like 10 seconds left and then i add my iru because i don't want the iru to become pureed and disappear no i want it to still be visible but in smaller bits so i added just 10 seconds to the end of my blending and then i you know blend that and that's it so this is my Iredu. Oh, can you see? Even from here, you can already see the draw. So we're going to go and put this on the stove. So see there, I'm showing you um, the bits of the Iru, the fermented locust beans. It's still there, but in smaller bits. So we're going to put this on the stove and let this come to a boil on high heat. Once it comes to a boil on high heat, we'll turn the heat to medium and just let it keep cooking um for about five minutes before we add our seasonings you want it to cook first you know for a bit before you add your seasonings because i think that affects the draw as well so there you go it's been boiling for a while and i'm just showing you how beautifully green that is and how it's drawing Ooh. So 
so i'm seasoning with crayfish and i like to add the crayfish or fish powder i don't have any fish powder now but i usually add fish powder um my bouillon cubes and my salt and i underestimated the amount of already can you see how it's almost overflowing so yeah make sure you use a bigger pot but i was able to control this it didn't overflow so um yeah because my son eats this directly you know with his swallow so i have to add some fish powder or crayfish just to give it a nice taste sometimes i add them um, like flaked mackerel fish as well but not in the whole batch just in a separate like i would section it out and add in a smaller batch you know because not everybody would want fishy it do anyways see i added almost the same amount of seasoning i added before because i underestimated <laughs> the quantity so make sure you taste I always season to taste like I say so make sure you taste your um eredu to make sure it's well seasoned all right so that's it just two minutes more and it's ready so this takes about seven you don't want this to be overcooked because your leaves will then turn dark and it's vegetable it doesn't need to cook too long so we're good that's it this is the end of our delicious iridu so what do you eat this with of course amala with stew um semo you know what do you like to eat with iridu some people think that you know you can't use maybe pounded yam or a bar i don't know but what what do you guys used to eat your iridu i like to use a bar or semu or amala or lafu lafu is white amala okay thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't like this video if you did and i'll see you in tomorrow's vlogmas